What's going on guys? Briar Rabbit here and Tess is gone. Tess Evers. She's gone, man. She used to be right here, but now she's gone. I don't see her. Where the hell did she go? She left all these ghost shells behind, but we can't use them anyway. So there was a new update for uh, Destiny. Update 1.2.0.5 and uh, in it, they tell us Tess Evers. She's gone, man. She's out of here. She has left the building. Elvis has left the building. In place, there's now a kiosk. It's right over here by Evil Levante. And in it, you can uh, basically do anything that you used to do with Tess Everest, which frankly wasn't much, but man, they replaced a person with a computer. That's messed up, Bungie. Presumably, this is because, you know, some kind of story beat that's going to happen later with the Taken King. But uh, it's weird. It's a weird change. So. There was a bunch of updates today, uh, some weapon fixes. They fixed an issue where Packing Heat, the achievement trophy, could not be unlocked by newly acquired exotic weapons. Uh, they also fixed an issue where the Husk of the Pit drops were disabled. This is a big issue. People were not able to get the Husk of the Pit, which later gets upgraded to Eidolon Alley, which later gets upgraded to the Necrochasm. And the drop rates for the Husk of the Pit from the Blades of Crota have been increased by 150%. So not only can you get them now, but they're actually easier to get than they ever were before. Uh, PvP got some changes as well. They updated the House of Wolves control playlist to include the following maps with a lower weight in the rotation. So you're gonna be seeing less rusted lands, less shores of time, Pantheon, and Exodus Blue. Same goes with the House of Wolves clash playlist. You're gonna be seeing less Firebase Delph Delphi, <laughs> Twilight Gap, Blind Watch, and Exodus Blue. The Inferno and Doubles playlists now have different tuning values for ammo crates. So special in ammo initial spawn time and respawn intervals have been changed to 180 seconds. Max of three special ammo crates will now be placed at one time and heavy ammo crates now spawn only once per match at 300 seconds. So sound like, sounds like there's just gonna be less ammo. Look, these people are looking for tests too. Guys, where the hell is Tess? Where the hell is Tess? <laughs> <laughs> uh, at the tower, obviously, we saw that Tess Everest is no longer here. It does say it's going to be temporary. I don't know where she's going or what she's up to, but there's a kiosk to take her place, which is weird. The Nepal Age Shader and Emblem have been added to the game. So, redemption codes will be soon sent out to the email used to place the orders in the Bungie store. So, if you ordered uh, the Nepal Shader and Emblem, that should be coming to you soon. These items can be found at the kiosk mentioned above, so Tess would normally take care of that kind of stuff, but she's not here. She just ain't here. And then they also fixed a few technical issues. Fixed a potential crash when closing the vendor screen. Fixed a very rare case where an account could be blocked by a weasel error on sign-in. That would really suck. And they fixed issues with suspend and resume handling on the Xbox One, so... Good changes, except for Tess, man. They replaced her with a fucking computer. How messed up is that? Bungie, man. This shit won't fly. I'm telling you right now. Bring Tess back. Bring Tess back. 